Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more Forza 6 videos here and we're moving on with our D-Class builds and this time we have the the Honda S2000, the 2009 Honda S2000 and this is another momentum build for Alps and Prague and tracks like that. Tracks that don't have, don't require a lot of acceleration and they don't have really tight turns so just kind of, but not long straightaways either so it's kind of that tweener track in there, we call them, I usually call them momentum type tracks and uh we're gonna get it going here that rival there somewhere i think probably somewhere in the top 30 and um or in that in that ballpark i had a time out there with my sz already uh, if you watch that video different different track but i put uh, times down on all three of the alps tracks so this one might be a little tough to beat this this one isn't quite as quick as the SZ on these, but it's still very competitive. Uh, we'll do well in multiplayer and also in rivals. Um, you don't want to run it on tracks like Laguna Seca and other places like that where it's going to require a little bit more. Um, walk them up a little bit there. A little bit more turning ability. Stay on him. A little bit more turning and a little bit more acceleration. It doesn't have great acceleration. Like you're going to notice it. Like if you run this in multiplayer, getting off the. Uh, the line can be a bit of an adventure. Wow, I blew that turn. I'm gonna still hang in there, but that's just an awful way to take that. I have to try to make up that time somewhere else here. Try to be somewhat careful here to just to maintain good lines. I think that I can catch him. with decent so I'm out of position now once the car starts to get a little skittish it does not want to hook back up in there it just wants to drift the rest of the way just like that that's all right when I get in on the first lap here well, we're technically our second lap but first lap's hard to hard to count a whole lot on that wall. It was a little late on the throttle because it just was carrying it out a little wide. All right, let's see what we can do here on this second lap. I'm going to come in a little higher up here. Work my way down there. Right in behind him. I'm okay with that. Get down the track where you're supposed to be. It's pretty stable over the curbs. You shouldn't have too much issue with that. I let off the gas and turned at the same time. Look at that thing. Oh, I tell you what. This car... There's something with this car that once it starts to get just a, even the slightest bit upset, it just wants to stay that way for about two or three turns. Um, and then it's fine. And then I'm making it worse by the way I'm driving. So, uh, not putting on a clinic by any means. Oh, let's see. It just wants to get sideways. This car is either in the, uh, whoop, dirty that. It's either just way in the groove or it's, or it's not. I think you'll find that. And just the way that, for me, the S2000 has always been that way in, in Forza games. It can put up some really good times, can be really good and really competitive. A little bit schizophrenic at times. Feels like sometimes it's just. You can't be beat, and other times it feels like you can't get the car around the track. For me, that's always been the S2000. It's always kind of a kind of tricky one to tune. Like right now, I'm getting all kinds of just a little bit oversteering there that I haven't ex really experienced before with it. Um, but anyway, that's the nature of this car. Here we go. Let's get a good one here. Let's go. terrible don't skid I wanted to skid again better there a little bit of a bump there that's okay 
going to get back under control here just a little bit coming into this. I knew that was going to happen. We came in there real hot. I needed a break a little bit more there. So let's see if we can catch him here. What are you doing? Where are you driving this thing? What kind of line is that? Oh my god, and then I hit the... Oh, what? <laughs> I just decided I wasn't going to turn in there for some reason. Felt like I was turning in, but the car just didn't feel like it wanted to. Alright, here we go. Here, this, this will be the one. Get him here. But I start with a good turn. This first one, he outbreaks me, which isn't surprising. I do have stock brakes. I don't know if he's got just some too slow into this turn. This could be a, this could be trouble coming out of it. That's one of those where you're too slow into it, so you dive too low and hit that mid apex instead of a late apex where you really want to be. Let's see if we can make up some time here. Good turn there. Should be good right there. More under control this time. Don't carry it too far. Gah! Now you're gonna. Now I'm done. You can't do that on this track. Once you do that on this, it just the whole rest of the track is <laughs> is done. Just carry this track is so crazy about the speed that you carry, especially in it's a little different when you get classes when you move up a couple of classes and you have cars that have a much better grip than what you've got in D class. You're generally running on you know stock compound tires that you know once they get once you get a little bit of a miss with it with those, they're you know it's just way out. All right, this is going to be the lap right here. Let's, let's, let's buck, buckle down and get one. I like my turn better. I like it a lot better, actually. That's pretty good, too. Just let the throttle up just a touch so I didn't hit the wall this time. I was slower in this part just because I did not. He's probably going to catch me a little bit here. I completely blew that turn. Stay out in front here. Yeah, I knew he was going to be catching up with me a little bit there. Still got a decent run out of that last turn, so I could maintain a little bit of speed there. I don't even know what happened there. God! Try to be too perfect. That's just one of those things where it does it, just the littlest of mistakes cost that's a half a second in that last turn I like my run out of that turn too get better at that first turn That up just a little again, just so I don't have to deal with. With a little double breaker there. Hit the brakes twice on that. Carried it out a little better that time, though. I'm going to let off a little earlier just so I set up for that turn a little better. 
just kind of sets the rest of this up much better. God, I missed it again. He's going to drive right by me. Ah. This car hates this track. <laughs> just that little section is is a little touchy to drive with this car. And then he's just killing me in there. I like to carry it up high. Not quite that high, though. He's going a little rivals session with me here. It's a little lapping out here. Did not like my turn as well that time. I'm going to get a pretty good run. I was able to get on it early, so I have, I'll carry good speed through there. wasn't a particularly good line. Less margin for error on this one. Turn. Thank you. I can get back on it after the turn there. Terrible! I cannot. Oh, I just want to throw the controller. I wonder if I should just slow down a little earlier for that turn, just to set it up better. This turn a little better, or so I thought. All right, here we go. Eighth lap, twelve minutes into the video. A little low line into that one. Got good speed coming out of it though. Good so far. Here we go. Tires on the ground here. We get good lines all through here, just so we can hold good speed all the way up the hill. We'll let off early this time. Better, not good, but better. So we can't finish this thing. He breaks really late, but I think I can get him on this exit. Get him! Yeah! There we go. The struggle was real in there for my driving. All right, quick, end this thing. <laughs> All right. There we go. Hey! 132.842. Just barely. Oh, man. Whew. Look at my shoulders are tense and everything on that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'll upload that whole thing. I suppose I, I suppose I could. <laughs> I could always go back and restart it and redo that, but now nah, it's kind of fun. We do it that way every once in a while. It's not always, you're not always going to beat times in the first lap. I think we did it within, I don't know, I don't know what that was, nine or 10 laps, eight laps, something like that, which isn't terrible. Um, you know, it's a, it's a decent time. A lot of that was just on me, and this car just gets a little upset in parts of that track if you're not really smooth with it. So we get all kinds of rivals, uh, all kinds of stuff that we get a spin. What do we want in here? I don't know. Nothing really trips the trigger on this, but I always take that number 62 458 Italia. I think that 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 was in Forza Five. I remember that car. A little 650 thousand credit car. That that's all good. All right, let's. All right. Moment of truth. Where did we get here? Oh, wait. That's not right. We got to do the all results 26th. Hey, not bad. All right. We could do that. Are there any other 
Honda S2000s up here. We might have the top uh, Honda S2000 up here. We do. All right. So yeah, that's why the, that's why there was a little bit of a struggle. You know, there's <laughs> there's a lot of other cars up there, uh, a lot of different cars in this one. They're doing pretty well. So we get 26 there. Let's go take a look at our build and our tune here. Let me hit continue. Got my hands hurt. I'm like gripping the controller. I'm all stressed out. That's what that's what doing live com video does to you. It adds to the pressure a little bit. You know, I can't just go out there and run a bunch of laps and then just show you the one that. You know, that one miracle lap I had, you get to see the whole thing. It's a little easier with that SZ. I think I could probably bring the SZ in here and probably beat this one again in three or four laps, but that's okay. We got two good cars for Alps here. So, you know, whether you're doing multiplayer, whether you're doing rivals, these should work on Prague also. They should be fine on those. Um, and there's a couple other momentum tracks. I'd have to go back and look through them um, to get the exact ones. Maybe sometime I'll do a video to kind of go eat to each of the tracks and the type you know, kind of divide them up into types. That becomes less relevant when you get up, you know, way higher up in the classes, when you get up above S. The type of car, you know, the same car tends to work on, you know, a lot more track than it does down in D class and lower classes where things are just a lot more car and build specific. So anyway, speaking of the build, let's go in here and take a look. Uh, we do not have an engine swap. Uh, let's, see what, let's take a look at the swaps that are available. So it looks like we got the, oh, you could put the 5.7 in this beast and then the, um, the V6 in there as well. Um, no drivetrain swap and no aspiration conversion. This car actually starts out in C class and you have to get it down into D basically by doing some things with weight and, and I'll show you how we did that um, but it starts up in c so you get to bring it's like 410 i think when it starts so you get a little bit back by going the arrow the forza front arrow and the forza rear arrow uh, you need that's your adjustable arrow on there uh we're not going to have any tire compound we're not going to i don't believe we have any tire width we do not our wheels let's get over into here and we got the super the oz super turismo gts in there so those are the wheels that we've got and then we come over here, we're going to have full width. We're going to have the 20 inch fronts and the 20s on the back. So 20s front and back for our wheel sizes. Not going to have a clutch, not going to have the transmission. I believe we have some driveline in here. We do. We have the sport driveline and we're going to have the race differential. So we get our adjustable and tunable differential in there. Uh, again, we're not going to have brakes. Typical Alps in the lower classes. And that's, you could say, might've been why I was getting out, out broken that first turn, or I just was breaking earlier than I should have. Uh, we are going to have race springs and dampers. We're going to have race front roll bar. We're going to have the race rear anti-roll. And this is where we get to get our PI back. And that's by putting the, the roll cage on there. You can see here that that gets us six PI. So some of our PI comes from this. Some of it comes from the arrow. That's enough to get you into to the very top of D class and it works out well for this car. And that's probably why I think this car is going to be pretty good on these tracks. There is also no engine parts in here. That is everything you can do to get it into D class. So let's hop in and take a look at our tune. We're going to be 28 and a half, 28 and a half. That's pretty much just where I start at. And I don't, I don't do a lot of adjustment in tire pressure, to be honest with you. Uh, ended up at 2.0 and 1.8. I tried lots of different settings here. I had it higher up in the 3.5 and the 3.0 range again, but once again, it was just too twitchy. You would go to turn and it would really just it would kind of twitch turn in and upset the back end of the car uh, this made it a lot smoother zero zero and five oh for our toe and our caster angle really soft roll bars had to really tune spent a lot of time tuning the roll bars on this one could not just leave it the way it was ended up with 7.1 and 5 you could play around with these a little bit more if you don't like what you got but i i spent quite a bit of time trying to dial these in uh, it made a it makes a big difference on the roll bars in this car. Uh, it's real touchy by what you do with the roll bars. Um, soften the springs up a fair amount at 497.9 and 502.1. Rose it took the ride height up just a little bit to deal with those curbs because spent a little bit of time running on the curbs on Alp. So went with 5.4 and 6.4 there. 10.3, 10.3, you know, typical stuff here. Stiff uh, rebound and um, soft bump. 10.3, 10.3, 2.5 and 2.5. Um, took all the downforce out at 50 and 75. That's to help with the carry the speed throughout that course. No brake adjustments can be made because we don't have the race brakes on. And then our differential 35% in the front and eight or the front 35% acceleration and 
8% on our deceleration number. So here you go, another car for D-Class. And we're gonna keep moving through these. Probably gonna move on to some a couple of grip cars next. I already have, uh, I believe I put one speed car out there. We'll do another one. Already got the oval car though. You guys got that limo that you can run on the oval. Um, but I'm gonna end it with that. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.